we notice that helping out other towns is adversely potentially affecting us, we're going to compensate for that, whether it be to work together between our career and volunteer staffing to improve our level of service or to work with the other towns to say, hey, there might be certain times when we might not be able to help you. But uh, right now, specifically with Montville, and the agreement does say this, we don't position an ambulance specifically in Montville. The ambulance is in Parsippany. So they know if they call us, Parsippany is a big town, the ambulance could be coming from anywhere in Parsippany. And if it's going to be farther away, you know, then you know, coming from like Powder Mill to Tawako, we're going to let them know that that ambulance is coming from a distance. But sometimes if it's really busy in the area, that might be the closest available ambulance. So it's a very dynamic process that we entail. And we're trying to use the technology to our advantage to make sure that we uh, are on top of things. So Pat can tell you, she's, I've been around for a while with her and she's taken me to task as need be. So I try to be on top of things. So if you ever have any questions as you go, please feel free to either contact me directly. My info is on the town website or I can give it to you out in the hallway or through the clerk's office and we can get you the answer so you have them and uh, you're good to go. All right. Thank you, Chief. Thank you. Sorry if I took anybody's time. I'm, I'm <coughs> well, how about the, uh, can I just ask, how about the movie theater? Do we know anything about oh, that? Because that has been quite a <laughs> while. That, that, is, that is the first I'm, I'm hearing of it, but I will uh, check with uh, Ms. Veely tomorrow and get a status yeah. report on the movie theater issue. No problem. My name is Bob Venezzi. I live at 102 Brooklawn Drive. Just, uh, I just want to make a comment about that, um, the ordinance that uh, specifies how long you have to wait for insurance. Uh, I read the ordinance, and it was pretty clear. And it, it, it was, it's directly. I mean, that whole ordinance was directed at the administration. Nobody else hires people. It's the It was meant to limit what the administration could do. And to you know to now say that the insurance agreement can override what the ordinance said it, that that doesn't make any sense to me. Maybe it's legal. Maybe the the insurance uh, agreement. You know the insurance company doesn't care if you give a waiver, but the ordinance says you can't. And uh, I think it's wrong. And I think I think it's also you know another thing that uh, you know no other administration. You know, took the you know took t took the effort to do the same. You know, to um, you know give a waiver to any you know any of their employees. And I'm sure that if any you know there there has been instances when previous administrations would have loved to take care of you know their people. I mean, I I just think that this is this is wrong, and it it just you know smacks of cronyism so and uh you know if 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 you can waive it and put it in the put it in the, you know change the ordinance but i i don't think you want to do that thank you go through you council president um Good. i just want to clarify that um the document that i believe mr venezia is discussing is in fact a township handbook okay um, the township handbook um, includes policies that are developed. Um, we readopted that book last year. Um, without violating this employee's rights, I just want to say that the situation that existed in this particular case was a hardship. It was documented. Um, as a matter of um, internal policy, if a new employee is coming in of either a department head or a division head status, um, it was my request of the mayor um, that that employee at least have the opportunity to meet with the council um, prior to us processing um, their paperwork of hire. Um, it is a courtesy to the council, as I think most people in the room know, administration is responsible for hiring other than uh, appointments by ordinance um, or statute which require council consent. Um, this employee was um, introduced to the council during the course of an executive session. At the conclusion of that executive session, the compensation package was reviewed and the hardship was disclosed to every member of this governing body and the mayor. So I just want there to be clarity on the fact um, that this um, waiver of the township policy based on a hardship was disclosed to everyone on this dais. That's all I have. 
without objection. I'm going to say that that policy, that violation of the township policy for that was not discussed with us. Yes, we did meet with this employee, but we were not told that this person was going to receive benefits in violation of the township policy. Respectfully, Council President, I disagree with that statement. You have the right to disagree. I know we were not told that. We did meet with him, but we were not told that he was going to get benefits unlike every other employee we've ever hired in this town. Okay, see no one else come forward, entertain a motion to close the public hearing. Motion. Second. Motion made by Ms. Uh, Peterson, seconded by Ms. Grignani. <clears throat> Roll call, Mr. DePiro. Yes. Ms. Grignani. Yes. Ms. McCarthy. Yes. Ms. Peterson. Yes. Mr. Carippi. Yes. Floor is closed. Entry ordinance 2019-64, an ordinance of the Township of the Council of the Township of Porcipany, Troy Hills, Morris County, New Jersey, amending and supplementing Chapter 370, Taxation Article 1, Hotel Motel Occupancy Tax of the Code of Parsippany Troy Hills. Be it resolved that the above ordinance be introduced, read by title, and passed on the first reading at a meeting at the Township Council of the Township of Parsippany Troy Hills, held on September 17, 2019, and that said ordinance be further considered for second reading and final passage at a meeting to be held on October 15, 2019 at 7 p.m. prevailing time or as soon thereafter as the matter may be reached at the municipal building in said township at which time all persons interested shall be given an opportunity to be heard concerning said ordinance. Be it further resolved that the clerk be authorized and directed to advertise said ordinance with the notice of introduction thereof being published in the official newspaper according to law. Motion to approve the above resolution. Second. Motion made by <coughs> Ms. Uh, McCarthy, seconded by Ms. Peterson. Roll call, Mr. DePiro. Yes. Ms. Grignani. Before I uh, cast a vote, um, I'm concerned about the Airbnbs, and I'm wondering if this ordinance, is it possible before we have an adoption of this ordinance uh, to include Airbnbs and what the restrictions can be on the Airbnbs in our township? Um, I have spoken to Mr. Kazmark in regard to an incident, and um, I, I, so far it has not come before the Board of Adjustment for Zoning, and um, i just like to have something in this ordinance so that we do not have Airbnbs in our private homes in Parsippany. Council President, through you, um, we are subsequently working on revisions to the ordinance to deal with that specific issue. Uh, my recommendation to the council would be to vote on this and then subsequently we will have a, a ordinance prepared uh, cleaning up the language with regard to Airbnbs. I've been in discussion with Ms. Veely about just that. Thank you. In that case, I vote yes. Ms. McCarthy? Yes. Ms. Peterson? Yes. Mr. Cariffi? Yes. Motion passes. Ordinance 2019, colon 65. An ordinance of the Township Council of the Township of Parsippany Troy Hills, Morris County, New Jersey, amending and supplementing Chapter 91-3 related to the operation of pet shops, kennels, shelters, and pounds. I'm going to read this, but this is not the ordinance that um, I promoted. There's wording in here that I disagree with, so I'm going right. to read it, but I'm, I'm going to vote no on this. Right. And Council President, um, I had spoken uh, to you. I received a copy of the dr the draft uh, yesterday afternoon. I have some questions about this also, including some citations to federal law. This was not the draft that we had had circulated. Which does come from? Um, this, so this does just the opposite of I, the draft that I, I proposed would protect leg legitimate pet shop pet shops to be deployed in, in the township, and it would hinder um, puppy mill pet shops that, that are getting puppies from puppy mills that are large cages and inhum inhumanely treated. This does just the opposite of what I was introducing. Right. And so as, and should we just table this or should well we just kill it? That's up to council. I mean, uh, I was prepared to, to uh, suggest that council just introduce it by, by title only and allow me to do an analysis 
between what was sent to me yesterday and what what, what was originally circulated. Uh, oh, okay, I share great. your concern. All right, then I, I've read the title. Um, let's take a vote. <coughs> Mr. Uh, DePiro? No. Ms. Grignani? Well, no, hold on. For real quick, I, I yeah. just have to say something here. I don't think there was even a motion, because I don't have it in my notes that we made a motion. No, well, I so introduced we by the title. Okay, so we have, uh, uh, okay, motion made by Mike. Uh, so second. Are you going to make a motion to table it or to? Yeah. I, I was going to just kill it. This, this is, this is, Good. if we table it, then we're just going to bring it back. I don't want to bring it back. I want to, well, right. I want to so kill it. If we, can I just ask, if sure. we table it and you're able to do the research, we, we can have it for the next meeting? Absolutely. Okay, let's yeah. table it. We, we so we need a motion. Meeting. But a it's motion. not. But that's not this particular ordinance. No, no, no. But he but has a. I gave him a different. Version. If I may, what we can but do. But a different version would so be a different ordinance. So it, it would be, and that would have to be introduced. So so, per, so we, we may as well kill this. Well, well you, what I would it recommend. Could be tabled. If I if I can just say something, what I can recommend is we do a motion to table, give Mr. Lott the opportunity to look into this matter and uh, you know review it. And if it is not resolved to your satisfaction at the next meeting, we can kill it. It's not a problem. Is that okay? Okay. So All right. So, motion so I to made table. a motion. There was a second. Yes, motion to table okay. by uh, Mr. DePiro. Second by? Second. Winner, Ms. Peterson. Fantastic. So, um, motion by Mr. DePiro, seconded by Ms. Peterson. Roll call, Mr. DePiro. To table, yes. Ms. Uh, Grignani. Yes, to table. Absolutely. Ms. McCarthy. Yes. Ms. Peterson? Yes. Mr. Cariffi? Yes. The motion passes. This ordinance is tabled until further notice. Ordinance 2019-66, an ordinance of the Township Council of the Township of Parsip, <coughs> Detroit Hills, Morris County, New Jersey, amending and supplementing Chapter 91-2 related to the licensing of dogs. Be it resolved that the above ordinance be introduced, read by title, and passed on first reading at a meeting of the Township Council of the Township of Parsippany Troy Hills, held on September 17, 2019, and that said ordinance be further considered for second reading and final passage at a meeting to be held on October 15, 2019, at this 7 p.m. prevailing time, or as soon thereafter as the matter may be reached at the municipal building in said township, at which time all persons uh, interested shall be given an opportunity to be heard concerning said ordinance. Be it further resolved that the clerk be authorized and directed to advertise said ordinance with the notice of introduction thereof being published in the official newspaper according to law. Motion to approve the resolution. Second. Motion made by Ms. Peterson, seconded by Ms. McCarthy. Roll call. Mr. DePiro? Yes. Ms. Grignani? Yes. Ms. McCarthy? Yes. Ms. Peterson? Yes. Mr. Cariffi? Yes. Motion passes. Ordinance 2019-40. An ordinance of the Township Council of the Township of Parsippany, Troy Hills, Morris County, New Jersey, amending and supplementing Chapter 360, Streets and Sidewalks of the Code of Parsippany, Troy Hills. <coughs> the notice for the ordinance above was published in the Daily Record, the official newspaper of the Township of Parsippany, Troy Hills, on August the 27th, 2019. This ordinance was introduced at the August 20th, 2019 regular meeting. Motion to accept that ordinance 2019 colon 40 to be heard in its second and final reading by title only. Second. Motion made by uh, Ms. Grignani, seconded by Ms. Peterson. Roll call, Mr. DePiro? Yes. Ms. Grignani? Yes. Ms. McCarthy? Yes. Ms. Peterson? Yes. Mr. Cariffi? Yes. Motion passes. Public hearing 2019 colon 40. Motion to open the public hearing for ordinance 2019 colon 40 by myself. Second. Motion made by Ms. Grignani, seconded by Ms. Peterson. Roll call, Mr. DePiro? Yes. Ms. Grignani? Yes. Ms. McCarthy? Yes. Ms. Peterson? Yes. Mr. Cariffi? Yes. Floors open on this ordinance only. Stay seated, Nick. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Come on up. <laughs> I listened to the man over there. Uh, Nick Komiak, a brief question. Does this imply that more sidewalks are going to be constructed in Persephone? Um, the, the answer to that would be no. The, the ordinance actually makes a number of technical changes with respect to road opening and right-of-way permits. It's, it's, it's within the chapter that deals with sidewalks and roadways. And uh, cleaning sidewalks, I saw one small sentence about the debris removing 48 hours. That means 
litter abatement or what does that mean exactly debris it's in the ordinance right. that would apply to any debris within the sidewalk area and how will that be enforced it'll be enforced like all of our other ordinances through the police department or through our code enforcement staff all right good luck you still need that uh bocce loop with the with the <laughs> wheels and the broom <laughs> so noted <laughs> See no one else come forward. Motion to close the public hearing for ordinance 2019 colon 40 by myself. Second. Okay, uh, motion made by Ms. Grignani, seconded by Mr. DePiro. Roll call, Mr. DePiro. Yes. Ms. Grignani. Yes. Ms. McCarthy. Yes. Ms. Peterson. Yes. Mr. Cariffi. Yes. Okay, uh, floor is closed. Whereas the above ordinance was read in title on second reading and a hearing held thereon, now therefore be it resolved that said ordinance be passed on final reading and that a notice of final passage of said ordinance be published in the newspaper according to law. Motion to approve the resolution above. Second. Motion made by Ms. Grignani, seconded by Ms. Uh, Mr. DePiro. Roll call, Mr. DePiro. Yes. Ms. Grignani. Yes. Ms. McCarthy. Yes. Ms. Peterson. Yes. Mr. Cariffi. Yes. Motion passes. Ordinance 2019, 41, an ordinance of the Township Council of the Township of Parsippany Troy Hills, Morris County, New Jersey, authorizing the sale of certain township owned real property located at block 765 lot 8.1 and block 765 lot 66 in accordance with local lands and building law njsa 48 colon 12 dash 1 at sec the notice for the ordinance above was published in the daily record the official newspaper of the township of possibly troy hills on august 27 2019 this ordinance was introduced at the August 20th, 2019 regular meeting. Motion to accept that ordinance 2019-41 be heard in its second and final reading by title only. Second. Motion made by Mr. DePiro, seconded by Ms. Uh, Peterson. Roll call, Mr. DePiro. Yes. Ms. Grignani. Yes. Ms. McCarthy. Yes. Ms. Peterson. Yes. Mr. Cariffi. Yes. Motion passes. Motion to open a public hearing for ordinance 2019-41. Second. Motion made by Mr. DePiro, seconded by Ms. Grignani. Roll call, Mr. DePiro. Yes. Ms. Grignani. Yes. Ms. McCarthy. Yes. Ms. Peterson. Yes. Mr. Cariffi. Yes. Floors open on this ordinance only. Mary Przicki, um, tell me where exactly is this property on the wild and that the township are you you're selling it uh, no you're giving it for a nominal fee to wildlife preserve what are we doing here so this ordinance authorizes the uh, sale for nominal consideration to uh, wildlife um, and the both parcels are located within the Troy Meadow area uh, they are landlocked without access um, they are both uh, wet in terms of either wetlands or oh, flood right. hazard mm -hmm. uh, and they'll be deed restricted um, from uh, further development the, the, uh, the, uh, the transfer is authorized pursuant to a settlement agreement that the township signed with wildlife about a year ago 15 months ago okay so um, it would be zoned then recreational it's yeah uh, this conservation the, the sale, right the, the sale doesn't change the underlying zone designation which is recreational conservation okay because um, originally there were pieces in that area of wildlife that were zoned like commercial and um, residential so now that's all going to change and they're going to get this I think and that was changed with the rezoning years ago well there was a little problem with some of the okay so it's in wildlife preserve proper and it can only be used for conservation purposes that's stipulated thank you Uh, Mr. Locke, can I uh, ask a, a, a question? If it's a, already a designated wetland and protected by Wetlands Protection Act, then why can't it just be commandeered? Or why isn't it automatically protected? Why does it have to be purchased? It was pursuant to our settlement agreement. The township owns these two lots, and uh, essentially they're more or less in the center of the wildlife preserve. So it'll be like a donation to the wildlife Correct. preserve? Correct. That's right. right. Okay, thanks. My name is Mark DeAngelis. 
40 Manor Lane, Parsippany, New Jersey. Soriano, surrender or resign? Oh, wait a minute. Sir, Karifi. Sir, sir, sir. sir. Karifi, same sir. to you and your team. Sir, you, you're only Mario. allowed to talk about the ordinance that we're talking talk about, about right now. I anything I'd like to no, talk you, about. No, you can't. You I'm missed the, the open public already. Open public, let me the explain something about the you open public. Sir, you missed, Don't point at me, sir, you missed Don't the open public. There was no open sir, public. Sir, you missed the open public. You're can late. Can I state for the record? Sir, yeah, you missed the TV. open public. Sir. Sir, you missed the open public. I'm going to ask you to sit down. Sir, I'm telling you to sit down. You missed the open public portion of the meeting. You missed it. You, you're about 45 minutes late. But what is it? The open public. You what missed it. That's where you can come and talk about anything. We're talking about a specific ordinance right now. What specific ordinance? Where is it? 2019 colon 41. That's what we're talking about right now. Can we speak about the certain ordinance that was spoken about myself tonight that I didn't get the chance to represent myself because I never got a letter if from we, When we get to that ordinance. That's not there yet? I don't know what ordinance you're talking about, but uh, if we haven't got, if we got haven't, written, if we haven't gotten into it yet, then you'll be able to talk. If it's on the agenda. There's some kind of written statement from that went through the neighbors of Parsippany, where I particularly happen to live, directed by you, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Sir, first off, there was no letters directed by me to your neighborhood, well, okay? So, listen, well, this con you, sir, this con Mr. DeAngelis, this conversation is not, not is not happening. It's not. Bro. Bro. Yo, bro, what's up? Listen to me. Not, listen to me. Not, yo, bro, what's up? This is not the forum, Mr. DeAngelis, okay? You are not allowed, you can talk about this ordinance and this ordinance only, okay? This ordinance and this ordinance only. That's all you're allowed to talk about right now. If you had been here earlier for the open public, you would have had five minutes to talk about whatever you'd like. But you were not here that, during that time frame. Soriano, so we're not, we're not listening to you, Mr. DeAngelis. Have a good day. Well, Did he just say surrender or die? I Did said surrender or resign. I see. Surrender or okay, enough, enough. Okay. Good night. Okay. Anybody else want to follow that? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Nick. Okay. Okay, I'll make a motion to close the public hearing on ordinance. 2019, column 41. Second. I'm sorry, I apologize. I was just updating the township attorney on uh, what just happened. Sorry. Uh, we have a motion by Mr. DePiro, seconded by Ms. Grignani, and this is to close the public hearing. Roll call, Mr. DePiro. Yes. Ms. Grignani. Yes. Ms. McCarthy. Yes. Ms. Peterson. Yes. Mr. Cariffi. Yes. Okay, floor is closed. Whereas the above ordinance was read and titled on second reading and a hearing held thereon, now, therefore, be it resolved that said ordinance be passed on final reading and that a notice of final passage of said ordinance be published in the newspaper according to law. Motion to approve the resolution above. Second. Motion made by Mr. DePiro, seconded by Ms. Uh, Grignani. No. Who was it? McCarthy. McCarthy, I apologize. It's okay. Um, <coughs> Ms. McCarthy. Roll call, Mr. DePiro. Yes. Ms. Grignani? Yes. Ms. McCarthy? Yes. Ms. Peterson? Yes. Mr. Cariffi? Yes. Motion passes. Ordinance 2019-42, Ordinance of the Township of Parsippany Troy Hills in the County of Morris, New Jersey, providing for retirement payouts and authorizing a special emergency appropriation of $305,935, therefore. The notice for the ordinance above was published in the Daily Record in the official newspaper of the Township of Parsippany Troy Hills on August 27, 2019. This ordinance was introduced at the August 20, 2019 regular meeting. Motion to accept that ordinance 2019-42 be heard in its second and final reading by title <coughs> only. Second. Motion made by Ms. McCarthy, seconded by Mr. DePiro. Roll call, Mr. DePiro. Yes. Ms. Grignani? Yes. Ms. McCarthy? Yes. Ms. Peterson? Um, point of clarity. This is the vacation payout for Mr. Karifi? No. No. What is this? No. This is not that. No. Okay. Sorry. I thought we were talking about that. Close that. Okay. Got it. Uh, yes. 
and Mr. Cariffi. Yes. Public uh, hearing motion passes. 2019 colon 42. Motion to open the public hearing for ordinance 2019 colon 42. Second. Motion made by Ms. McCarthy, seconded by Mr. DePiro. Roll call, Mr. DePiro. Yes. Ms. Grignani? Yes. Ms. McCarthy? Yes. Ms. Peterson? Yes. Mr. Cariffi? Yes. Floor is open on this ordinance only. Okay. No one come forward. So motion to close the public hearing for ordinance 2019, column 42. Second. Motion made by Ms. McCarthy, seconded by Mr. DePiro. Roll call, Mr. DePiro? Yes. Ms. Grignani? Yes. Ms. McCarthy? Ms. Yes. Ms. Peterson? Yes. Mr. Cariffi? Yes. Motion passes. Whereas the or above ordinance was read in the title on the second reading and a hearing held thereon. Now for therefore it be it resolved that said ordinance be passed on final reading and that notice of the final passage of said ordinance be published in the newspaper according to law. Motion to approve the resolution above. Second. Motion made by uh, Ms. McCarthy, seconded by <coughs> Ms. Grignani. Roll call, Mr. DePiro? Yes. Ms. Grignani? Yes. Ms. McCarthy? Yes. Ms. Peterson? Yes. Mr. Cariffi? Yes. Motion passes. Ordinance 2019, colon 43, Ordinance of the Township of Parsippany, Troy Hills, in the County of Mars, New Jersey, providing for the Township Master Plan and authorizing a special emergency appropriation of $135,000 therefore. The notice of the ordinance above was published in the Daily Record, the official newspaper of the Township of Parsippany, Troy Hills, on August 27, 2019. This ordinance was introduced at the August 20th regular meeting, 2019, motion to accept that the ordinance 2019-43 be heard in its second and final reading by title only. Second. Motion made by Ms. Peterson, seconded by Ms. Grignani. Roll call, Mr. DePiro. Yes. Ms. Grignani. Yes. Ms. McCarthy. Yes. Ms. Peterson. Yes. Mr. Cariffi. Yes. Motion passes. Public hearing 2019 colon 43, motion to open the public hearing for ordinance 2019 43. Second. Motion made by Ms. Peterson, seconded by Ms. Uh, Grignani. Roll call, Mr. DePiro? Yes. Ms. Grignani? Yes. Ms. McCarthy? Yes. Ms. Peterson? Yes. Mr. Cariffi? Yes. Uh, floor is open on this ordinance only. Uh, Nick Homiak in Lake Hiawatha. Um, is the master plan still open for public comment? And when will the Highlands conformance kick in and we we'll be eligible for grants to pay for the, uh, the uh, upgrade of the uh, uh, regional master plan, which I hope is part of the new master plan? I don't have the timing of, of the master plan adoption. I believe we have an application ready to go to Highlands for the conformance grant. I'll defer to the administrator on that. that that's correct. Um, we've sent the initial letter down um, and we're following Ms. Favate's lead um, on following through on that. And the public I believe the public comment on the master plan has, has ended. Yeah. Um, there, once, once it's formalized and presented, I'm sure there'll be another opportunity for the public to, to make comments on it. Um, but I think the fact finding aspect of it um, is duly complete. Correct, there, and we uh, we can check on this, but I believe that there will be a public hearing on the master plan, but at the planning board. Seeing uh, no one else come forward, a motion to close the public hearing for ordinance 2019, colon 43. Second. <coughs> motion made by Ms. Peterson, seconded by Ms. Grignani. Roll call, Mr. DePiro? Yes. Ms. Grignani? Yes. Ms. McCarthy? Yes. Ms. Peterson? Yes. Mr. Cariffi? Yes. Whereas the above ordinance was read in title on second reading and a hearing held thereon, now therefore be it resolved that said ordinance be passed on final reading and that the notice of final passage of said ordinance be published in the newspaper according to law. Motion to approve the resolution above. Second. Motion made by Ms. Peterson, seconded by Ms. McCarthy. Roll call, Mr. DePiro? Yes. Ms. Grignani? Yes. <coughs> Ms. McCarthy? Yes. Ms. Peterson? Yes. Mr. Cariffi? Yes. Motion passes. Ordinance 2019 colon 44, an ordinance of the Township Council of the Township of Parsippany Troy Hills, Morris County, New Jersey, establishing a trap, neuter, vaccinate, and release program. The notice for the ordinance above was published in the Daily Record, the official newspaper of the Township of Parsippany Troy Hills, on August the 27th, 2019. This ordinance was introduced at the August 20th, 2019 regular meeting. 
Motion to accept Ordinance 2019-44 be heard in its second and final reading. Second. Motion made by uh, Ms. Grignani, seconded by Ms. Peterson. Roll call. Mr. DePiro? Yes. Ms. Grignani? Yes. Ms. McCarthy? Yes. Ms. Peterson? Yes. Mr. Cariffi? Yes. Motion passes. Motion to open the public hearing for Ordinance 2019, colon 44. Second. Uh, motion made by Ms. Grignani, seconded by Ms. Peterson. Okay. Or Mrs. McCarthy. Uh, we'll go with Ms. Peterson for now. Both. <coughs> Um, roll call, Mr. DePiro? Yes. Ms. Grignani? Yes. Ms. McCarthy? Yes. Ms. Peterson? Yes. Mr. Carippi? Yes. Motion passes. This is the yeah, yeah. Come on up, Nick. Come on. A democracy of one, Nick. Take your time. Say again? <laughs> it's a democracy of one. <laughs> uh, I wish it was a democracy. Um, <laughs> the part that troubles me is the release. So they go back into the neighborhood and they go looking for the little songbird. Yep. So is there any alternatives well, for cats? If that was a dog, they wouldn't release the dog, would they? Were you Nick, here you don't want to hear about the alternative. No, there are, there are alternatives, Nick. Um, some of these cats are, are not yet wild. They could be domesticated. So when they're trapped, neutered, and, and vaccinated, um, some of them are docile uh, and, and, and could be adopted. And, and if, if, if the animal control officer deems that they can be adopted, we do that first. Oh, okay. if, they, if they cannot be, then rather than kill them, we put, let them go back and live their life. They cannot reproduce anymore, so they'll live the rest of their lives, and, but they cannot reproduce. Were you here for the presentation by the woman who's going to run the program who yes, had the statistics on yes, the population control? So in the course of five years, even with the cat being released back into the wild, the population will drop by the line. It was like this. So they'll, there's a cat census as they do this. They tally up the... <laughs> they really do. They're <laughs> <Yeah>. active <laughs> volunteers. Yeah. I, I just feel sorry for all them poor little <coughs> songbirds that, with the release. That's all. That's so true. there's the light at the end of the tunnel for the songbirds. Except that I don't know that we have a f we know the fix in the number of cats, and that was a range between seven and nine thousand. So right. I mean, you know, you have a, you know, you have to uh, consider that in your program. So we'll see. Two. Okay. Democracy two. of two. two. <laughs> yep. All right. Listen, how many um, cats can one person have? exactly when you do this program you know they they like become the well, mentors these are these are colonies now, nobody the really colonies. has them there are colonies and who feeds some, them then? some people improperly maybe. feed them right yeah. um yeah. but it's, it's not owned by them but some of the people that do feed them are are trapping them and bringing them down to the animal control center because the problem like nick says is like okay if if somebody does take care of them and watch over them because we have people in our neighborhood do it you know, four or five are okay, but I mean, I know somebody's got 15, yeah. and that becomes then a nuisance, and he's right about the songbirds. I mean, if you look at the Audubon statistics, you're going to find out that those uh, cats do have a, um, an effect on the population of songbirds. So, Mary, we're moving in a direction. What, what would you suggest? I, w I would just <coughs> like yeah, the to other see alternative is to euphemize them all, and, and none of us I, I, want to I do would that. just like to see that um, the in some instances they do have caregivers of colonies, and that those caregivers would have a specific number, like of how many they can have in one area, and then you know take it out from there. It, Mary, but if we stick with a hard number. What do we do when we pass that number? Do we euthanize the cats? And you can't just move it to another colony. And to expand on what Michael, the point Michael DiPiero was trying to make is that doing nothing and not doing anything, that's not safe for the songbirds at all. And maintaining the status quo that we had before the trap neuter release program, they will continue, the population will continue to increase. And as we've been doing this, we are finding uh, cats that have rabies and we've been able to stop the spread of this throughout our township it seems like we've got to this just in time so this is a project that has been bipartisan has been had the full support of my administration and council 
and uh, th this is where we need to go. I, it'll take us years to get to cut down on the population, but we have we, there are documented situations where it has cut down the population, and it, you have been able to gain, gain control and cut down on the uh, incidence of rabies. Is there Did anything? you just state your name? Oh, sorry. Yes, I'm Susan Wilson. I live at 2 Millstone Drive in Morris Plains. Um, we have tons and tons of cats in my neighborhood. Is there anything that can be done about the people who are habitually feeding them? But I could just ask you to speak into the mic, Ms. Oh, Wilson. So, sure, sorry. Yeah, thank you. Is there anything that can be done about the people who are feeding them but not caring for them? I'm really excited about the trap neuter release because I've been asking for this for years, but there's still tons of, I mean, I'm on my deck and there's 15 cats in my backyard and I have small children. Mm. I don't even want them to play in the as we As we gain control, there are caregivers now who are volunteering to bring cats in, okay? So we're taking care of the, the caregivers who are volunteering to bring the cats in. Uh, when we have digested those or accomplished those, we will try to spread out and, and <coughs> maybe educate some of the others who are feeding and convince them to become caretakers and do the same thing. It's an it's educational process. But right now, we have care, caregivers who are volunteering to bring cats in, and we're dealing with those. Is there a have thought you called about animal control yeah, about the like, 15 cats like on your deck? About 20 times. They're, they're <laughs> yes, about, on a regular basis. They came over, they put traps, they took seven away. Mm -hmm. There's a bunch more that just, it, in the last year, it has improved. I can definitely okay. say that. In the That's good to hear. In the last year, it has improved. Um, but, you know, it feels like if I have to license my dog and take care of her and I can't just let her run around the neighborhood, if you're caring for a cat and feeding it, it should be your pet and you should have to license it and or not feed it. it it's kind of pick a lane. It's your pet or it's not your pet. So Part of you. the, um, um, on the feeding requirements is, uh, and it's, it, it, this is going to be in the ordinance as well, is that there are restricted feeding times. Right now, there are some caregivers, like you're saying, that are improperly feeding these animals and are feeding at night, which you're feeding other rodents and raccoons, and that is completely inappropriate and against ordinances right now as it stands. The feeding times are going to be restricted to the daytime. You have to restrict it to, I, I, I don't quote me on this part, if it's once or twice a day, but the food only needs to be out for an hour, can only be out for an hour, and must be pulled back in. We've heard reports and rumors of people literally dumping cat food outside the windows. We need to curb that behavior, and we have been curbing that behavior. By bringing these caregivers out of the shadows, bringing them in and making them part of the program, we can get them to adhere to the law and adhere to best practices when it comes to caring for these cats. And again, it'll take a while, but eventually the populations will die. I am so glad to hear that it's you see that it's gotten better yeah, yep. already but it, this will reduce yeah. the population it certainly will thank you thank you thank you see no one else come forward motion to close the public hearing second motion made by Ms. Grignani seconded by Mr. DePiro roll call Mr. DePiro yes Ms. Grignani yes Ms. McCarthy yes Ms. Peterson yes Mr. Cariffi yes floor is closed whereas the above the above ordinance was read title on second reading and and, and a hearing held thereon now, therefore, be it resolved that said ordinance be passed on final reading and that a notice of final passage of said ordinance be published in the newspaper according to law. Motion to approve. Second. Motion made by uh, <coughs> Ms. Grignani, seconded by Ms. Peterson. Roll call, Mr. DePiro. Yes. Ms. Grignani. Yes. Ms. McCarthy. Yes. Ms. Peterson. Yes. Mr. Cariffi. Yes. Motion passes. Ordinance 2019, column 45. An ordinance of the Township Council of the Township of Parsippany Troy Hills, Morris County, New Jersey, amending Chapter 4, Article 18, Administration of the of Government, Department of Emergency Medical Services, and Chapter A, 445-19.1, Fees, Compilation, Emergency Medical Services of the Code of Parsippany Troy Hills. The notice for the ordinance above was published in a daily record, the official newspaper of the Township of Parsippany Troy Hills on August 27th, 2019. This ordinance was introduced at the August 20th, 2019 regular meeting. Motion to accept that ordinance 2019, column 45, be heard in its second and final reading by title only. Second. Motion made by Mr. DePiro, seconded by Ms. McCarthy. Roll call, Mr. DePiro. Yes. 
Ms. Guignani? Yes. Ms. McCarthy? Yes. Ms. Peterson? Yes. Mr. Carithi? Yes. Motion passes. Motion to open the public hearing for ordinance 2019 colon 45. Second. Motion made by Mr. DePiro, seconded by Ms. Grignani. Roll call, Mr. DePiro? Yes. Ms. Grignani? Yes. Ms. McCarthy? Yes. Ms. Peterson? Yes. Mr. Carithi? Yes. <coughs> Motion passes. The floor is open for this ordinance only. Seeing no one else. Seeing no one come forward, I make a motion to close the public hearing. Second. Motion made by Mr. DePiro, seconded by Ms. Grignani. Roll call, Mr. DePiro? Yes. Ms. Grignani? Yes. Ms. McCarthy? Yes. Ms. Peterson? Yes. Mr. Carithi? Yes. Motion passes. Whereas the above ordinance was read in title on second reading and a hearing held thereon, now therefore be it resolved that said ordinance be passed on final reading and that a notice of final passage of said ordinance be published in the newspaper according to law. Motion to approve the resolution above. Second. Motion made by Mr. DePiro, seconded by Ms. McCarthy. Roll call, Mr. DePiro? Yes. Ms. Grignani? Yes. Ms. McCarthy? Yes. Ms. Peterson? Yes. Mr. Carifi? Yes. Motion passes. Non-consent yeah. Nothing okay. under non-consent. Will you go to consent? Consent agenda, be it, con consent agenda, be it resolved, all items listed with an asterisk are routine and non-controversial by the Township Council will be approved by one motion and there will be no separate discussion of these items unless a council member so requests, in which case the item will be removed from the consent agenda and considered in its normal sequence on the agenda. Motion to approve the consent agenda. And the Council President, yes. um, I, I have one technical correction for number six, resolution uh, 2019-184. I think we need to insert the troop numbers and Council Member Greg Nadi, I think, has those. Troop numbers 172 and number 73. Thank you. So motion to approve. Yeah. Second. Okay. Motion made by Ms. McCarthy, seconded by Ms. Peterson. Roll call, Mr. DePiro? Yes. Ms. Grignani? Yes. Ms. McCarthy? Yes. Ms. Peterson? Yes. Mr. Carifi? Yes. Motion passes. Approval of payroll and bills list. CFO Ann Cucci recommends authorization for payment. One, authorized payment. Uh, me? No, go ahead. Oh. Sorry. Uh, authorized payment of September 20, 2019, regular and miscellaneous payroll estimated okay. at $1.7 million. Two, payment of bills from voucher list of 9319 to 9-16-19 is $14,212,423.28. Motion to approve the authorization for payment. Second. Motion by Ms. Peterson, seconded by Ms. Grignani. Roll call, Mr. DePiro? Yes. Ms. Grignani? Yes. Ms. McCarthy? Well, I'm going to abstain because I didn't see the bills list. Okay, so going forward, what we'll do is we'll have a policy. So this way we give the council enough time. The bills list will be due at the same time that the materials for the agenda deadline will be due and will be sent out uh, at that time. That's approximately a week in advance. And this way it will ensure that the council reviews the bills list. And uh, after that, the agenda will follow shortly thereafter. Is that okay to the council? It, it, just, just a moment. Um, the bills list for 9319. Wasn't that on our, uh, we received those bills lists this past week? Because there were, there were payments that were made. Um, I went over them and um, I saw one that was for um, a management fee to Kemper for $7,210 and that was done on uh, 9319. Well, they should be attached to the agenda on the night we're approving it. And so what we'll do is, uh, if we can do this, uh, can we, when uh, this is directed to the CFO, um, if uh, going forward, can we have the actual bills list uh, when the agenda deadline is due, and then we will, we will email it to them, and then we'll make sure it is attached to the agenda going forward? The, the procedure for how we cut checks, we cut them or and process the bills on the first, second, third of the month and the 15th, 16th, 17th of the month. How that drops within our meetings is how we end up giving the bill list. I, I'm not sure. I don't know if that's going to be a sufficient I, I don't know how any other, we process so many vouchers. I, I would have to try to look at the meeting, like we have a meeting on the first, right, or the second of October. First. I can, 
I'll have those. So it's the first, second, or third, or 15, That's 16, or 17, problem. right? Yes. Those checks are cut those day before that, but dated those days, like right now. You know, you reckon. had the bill is for 13. That's some, most of them are dated on the 15th, you know, 15th, 16th, 17th. Okay. Um, we can talk about yeah, we'll the process. Talk I'll, I'll we'll do talk the best we can. No problem. All right. Uh, Mr. Uh, so, Ms. McCarthy, it's noted for the record, and uh, I, as the clerk representing the council and the administration, will work to uh, see if we can get that bills list a week in advance prior to um, the agenda being approved, I mean sent out, and then the agenda will follow shortly thereafter, and then we will follow up with you. Okay. Um, Ms. Peterson? And Mr. Cariffi? Yes. Okay. Uh, four votes and one abstention. Motion passes. Executive session resolution. Whereas the Open Public Meetings Act PL 1975 Chapter 231 permits the exclusion of the public from a meeting in certain circumstances, and whereas the Township Council is of the opinion that such circumstances presently exist, and whereas the Township Council wishes to discuss the following. Contract negotiations, blue collar supervisors, Litigation, attorney-client privile privilege, Mount Laurel litigation, settlement, adoption of affordable housing ordinances, contract negotiations, Kemper, contract negotiations, BOE negotiations for police tower, and Karifi litigation. And whereas minutes will be kept, and once the minutes, once the matter involving the confidentiality of the above no longer requires confidentiality, the minutes can be made public. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Township Council of the Township of Parsippany Troy Hills that the public be excluded from this meeting. Motion to adjourn in a closed session. Second. Okay, motion made by uh, <coughs> Ms. Peterson, seconded by Ms. Grignani. Roll call, Mr. DePiro? Yes. Ms. Grignani? Yes. Ms. McCarthy? Yes. Ms. Peterson? Yes. Mr. Cariffi? Yes. We're going to be adjourning into closed session. Uh, we do not anticipate any action after the closed session. Okay, uh, we're on the record. Can we get a motion to go motion. into back motion. In motion. Motion to go into public session? Motion. Yes. Oh. Peterson, yes. A motion made by Ms. Uh, Grignani. Grignani, seconded by Ms. Peterson. Roll call, yes. Mr. DePiro? Yes. Ms. Grignani? Yes. Ms. McCarthy? Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Ms. Peterson? Yes. Okay, now we need a motion oh. to adjourn. Hold on, motion, motion to adjourn. Second. Motion made by Ms. Uh, Peterson, seconded by Ms. Grignani. Roll call, uh, Mr. DePiro? Yes. Ms. Grignani? Yes. Oh, yes. Ms. McCarthy? <laughs> Ms. Peterson? Yes. All right. We're adjourned. Have, okay. have a nice night. Collette, we're in here.